Uh, good morning. We're outside the Grand Harbour Hotel in Southampton. We've just come out from a fantastic uh, Dragon's Den style event. And one of the competitors here is Benjamin Mawson. Um, uh, Benjamin, your company name, Threadbear, tell me where does that come from? It sounds very exciting. Well, it's an acronym. It stands for Three Dimensional Binaural Audio Rendering Engine. Sorry, so what, what was that again? Three Dimensional? Binaural audio. Binaural audio is a, a type of sound production that mimics what we hear in the real world. In other words, um, a spherical reproduction of sound sources as though they were actually around you in the real environment. So it's almost like I'm in the middle of an orchestra or something like that, is that what you're saying? Yes, exactly. The, what Threadbare is going to allow you to do um, via motion tracking is to actually walk as though inside an orchestra wow. a, and listen to a performance. So that. What this means is that every time that you walked uh, in a different route with a different duration, you'd be able to listen to the same piece of fixed digital content in a different way. It's a way of bringing the digital to life. Wow, this sounds incredible. So what are the applications for something like this? I mean, we speak about orchestras, but surely it's got applications elsewhere as well. Well, that's my interest. I've been composing in the digital studio for a long time, and you can, com you can compose very complex sound that can't really be heard on speaker systems. So. My interest as a producer of music is to really elucidate the content of complex things that I'm making and that other composers are working with. But of course, it's got much wider applications than that in heritage, tourism, entertainment, musical training, um, and of course, corporate and defense applications as well. I don't know of any other system that yet exists that has this kind of interactivity and resolution of response. Wow, so heritage, I mean, if I'm walking through a stately home, for example, then it'll just track me, follow me, and tell me what's going on around me, that sort of concept. Yes, exactly. I mean, at the moment, you have to either press a button to say that you've yeah. now moved to the next zone, um, or you listen on speaker systems, and so everybody is uh, made to listen to the same content at once. This is something that's both social, lots of people would be listening with handsets in their pockets, um, tracked as they move about, but listening to the audio that's specific to their location and the type of content they want to hear. So it's both social and individuated according to the movement of the listener. Superb, it sounds phenomenally complex, but, but presumably the technology exists to, to uh, make it accessible. Yes, it does. We've built a prototype which um, works with Max MSP and Processing, which are two um, audio development frameworks that work on um, Windows-based PCs and Macs, but they don't work yet on iPhones. And so what we're going to have to do is translate this to a smartphone platform um, and then make it into a, a bundle that can be downloaded um, as an application with audio attached, such that the listener simply goes to the iTunes store, download a thing like an album, really, as you do now, um, go to the place, click play, and that's it. What a fantastic... That's opening up a completely different world, isn't it? I mean, not just from your side of the musical element or even from the commercial aspects of giving people access to information in real time, but presumably it may well have uh, quite big ramifications in uh, medical and, and uh, getting people back into hearing again. Yes, I think that's very true actually. You, you mentioned medical. We've um, put in some bids this year, uh, myself working from the music department at the University of Southampton with the Faculty of Medicine to okay. gamify biomedicine. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing there is looking at how you, the um, participant, the, the game player, are a white blood cell and you have to track down viral infection within the body. So we're using the codes emitted by cells, um, which are, they have the same alphabet, but the virus tries to mimic it and gets it slightly wrong. And the white blood cell tracks them down, and then in an act of sort of self-sacrifice, hurls itself upon the infected cell and gets emitted from the body. Now, how do you make that exciting for an audience? What better way than gamification, interactivity? Yeah, yeah. So these are the kinds of applications that we might be using it for in future. Well, that sounds fantastic. You had a, a great reception I, uh, I saw, I noticed, from the, the dragons in our den here. So what, do you, what needs to happen next from your perspective? Well, we need to obtain the funding um, and win the prize. Um, and then we're going to go to proof of concept stage, hopefully, with that in the next three months. Um, develop a really attractive user interface that can be uh, used by anybody without training. At the moment, it's very much a, a geek tool. Um, we want this to be something that you can drag and drop, create your own um, sound walks very quickly, uh, and then put that straight onto um, a portable device and field test it, um, so that we can then demonstrate this to people such as those working in heritage um, and those who might have an interest in imparting corporate information. Um, once we've done that and we've got the proof of concept, we can then look at the market, particular types of um, client base that we'd be aiming for first. And of course, looking very much harder at marketing and branding, which we haven't really touched on yet. 
So how long do you think it's going to be before, um, from where we are now, before I can just uh, go to the Southampton Boat Show, for example, with my iPhone, plug in and play, and it'll work out what stand I'm next to and tell me all about the boats as we go? I'd say a year from now or less. A year from now. That sounds very exciting. Benjamin, thank you very much for your time and good luck. Thank you. Bye.